I've got the Dynamics 365 for Operations Warehouse app and at this stage I've got a configuration configured in the app um, but it's pointing to a tenant or a D Dynamics 365 installation that I want to change. So this is my Dynamics 365 installation which is a new one. So let's go through the whole process of creating the configuration that I can put into the app to point the app at this particular instance. So the first thing is I'm going to go to System Administration and this is my users list. So I'm going to go and create a new user. Um, we need to have a user to be able to connect for the permission. So let's create a new user. And I'm going to call it WMS App, for example. And the username will be WMS App. And I can create an email, WMS App at email.com, for example. Um, and so the company that I'm going to connect is going to be. Uh, USMF, so we'll find USFM. The USMF is here somewhere. Where is it gone? G. USFM app didn't scroll down far enough. All right, so that's our user. But I'm going to hit save and we're going to assign roles. So you'll see the um, role is system user, so I'm going to assign roles as uh, the default role. So I'm going to come down and into the W, so we'll see warehouse mobile device user. So I'm going to enable this role and then we'll say OK. Alright, so that's my user created and you'll see it's called WMS App. Okay, now where does this user get used? So if I go into system administration, I'm going to access it differently. So I'm going to access system administration from the menu. And so from here, for example, you'll see that we have Azure Active Directory applications. And we need to create an application here, um, which is the configuration that our application is going to use. So you'll see if I create a new configuration, um, it has a user and in our user list this is where we have our WMS uh, app user but we need to specify a client ID for example so where do we get the client ID alright so this is going to take us a little bit of work so I'm going to hit delete um, because I don't have that client ID yet I need to go and create it so I'm going to go and go over to my Azure Active Directory and um, I'm going to go and create in my Azure Active Directory. So I'm using my win Manage Windows Azure portal. So I need to be obviously an administrator of my Azure Active Directory to be able to create an application. So this is something um, that you will need an administrator to do and give them instructions and get the values back. The two values that you're going to need out of here are going to be the client ID and the key value, so essentially uh, a username and a password type concept to, for the application to specify to log into AX. So let's go and create this. So I'm on applications here. I'm going to go and hit uh, add and I'm going to type a name here. So I'm going to say um, LC just for me so I can find these uh, D365 um, and it's going to be um, give it a name match uh, UPD4 for example this is just my uh, application name and it's going to be a web application so I'm going to sit OK now the sign on URL is going to be my Dynamics AX uh, or Dynamics 365 so I'm going to go back to my Dynamics 365 and then I'm going to steal my URL from here so that'll be my URL and I'm going to go and specify this here and I'm going to add on to the end O-A-U-T-H so OAuth is the uh, authentication piece at the end here now ordinarily 
Um, I could use the same here, um, but this potentially could cause some issues in an environment. So I'm simply going to, it doesn't really get used for the warehouse mobile app, so it's not too much of an issue. So I'm just going to um, change the name here in this case and call it D365 WMS app .contoso com. All right, so then I'm going to say OK. All right, so this is then going to go into um, bring up some additional dialogues, and this is where we need to go and configure. So the first thing is I'm going to go into configure and you'll see our application name, you'll see our sign on URL that we specified, so those are good. So the first thing that you have is the client ID. So you want to take a copy of the client ID, so that's the first value that you want to use because um, you'll need that in the mobile app. The next thing that you need to do is find a key and so you need to specify this in the keys here and so I'm going to say it lasts for two years. Now you'll see it says key value will be displayed when you save it. So I'm going to hit save down the bottom and it'll take a little while to run and I'm doing this in the uh, Windows Azure Classic portal. You can do this in the um, uh, new portal as well. Um, so you'll see once it's saved then you'll get the key value. Um, so you want to make sure that you copy the key value because once you leave the screen you won't get it back again. Um, so that's something to make sure that whoever's configuring this takes a copy at this particular point in time so that you can use it later. Now once you've got your key you need to specify permissions. So in this particular case um, we've got Windows Azure Active Directory permissions so this is um, OK um, and this permission is sign in and read user profile so that's OK. What we need to do is give them access to Dynamics AX or Dynamics 365 so this is my Dynamics ERP application so I'm going to approve that and we need to modify the permission. So the first one is that we need to say they can have these permissions and the next one is that they can access the connector APIs. So that's essentially the configuration done here. So connector APIs and then all of those permissions for the Microsoft Dynamics ERP application. So once you've changed those um, once you've got your um, key value and once you've got your client ID um, you can hit save again because that's essentially the application configured. So I'll let this save so that I know it's um, configured. So it's now configured. Now we need to go and transfer these back into uh, D365. So now I can come here and set up my client ID. So I'm going to hit new and I can grab my client ID from uh, where I copied it before. So I'm going to specify that and give it a name, WMS app for example. Now I can specify my user that we created earlier. So WMS app um, is created. So we're telling D365 that this is the client ID that's allowed to connect. So essentially you're giving this ID permission to uh, um, log in and this is the user permissions that are going to be used and associated with it. So once you've created that client ID then that's configured in D365. So you can close this out. Now I'm going to go across to my app. So now I can specify those same settings in my um, connection settings in the D365 Warehouse app and now we need to specify our uh, client secret key so I'm going to specify that here let's clear it out and put it back in to make sure it's put in okay alright so that's the key and then we can specify the Azure uh, directory resource which in this particular case is going to be our URL for D365 
So I clear this out and specify the new one. Now in my case the Azure Active Directory tenant will be login.windows.net and then microsoft.com so if you're configuring this for your environment you want to put your domain um, here as it's relevant for your login so that's what you'll specify there then the last thing is the company whatever default company you're going to use for this user so that's essentially the connection settings so I'm going to hit um, back and it's going to try to connect so if the application is set up alright, we've got that user set up alright, then we should be allowed to log in. Now let's go and change our warehouse worker. Um, so in this case I'm going to go down to warehouse management. Um, I'm going to go to my worker and because this is a new environment in the demo data, I don't know what the password is so I'm simply going to reset the password. So we'll create a password and we'll say OK. Alrighty, so once I have a password, so this is my user 24, so we'll enter 24 and my password, so we'll say OK. And if the menu comes up, then there's a good chance that we've got a menu configured. So if I go into uh, inbound, for example, you'll see our menus. So I can go back, I can go to my outbound, I can see our menus, for example. So if I wanted to change these, let's say, for example, take something off, let's say, for example, driver checkout just to see if it's working okay for us. I'm going to go to my warehouse menu and we'll go to our mobile device and mobile device menus and this one was the outbound and on the outbound we had driver checkout uh, so we can see that there so I'm going to hit edit and I'm simply going to take off driver checkout um, and then we'll save this and jump out of the form and so let's go back to a mobile device we'll go to our outbound click on that again um, then if I scroll down the bottom you'll see our menus uh, not there so that's a quick walk through uh, what you need to do. Um, there it is a little bit fiddly. The key is really that application in the Azure Active Directory, um, making sure you get the client ID and that key um, so that you can specify in the app. Now in this particular case, my app is running on a Windows 10 desktop, um, but it's going to be the same parameters if you're running it an Android device as well.